Thank you, everybody. Thank you. So, let me just say, everybody, a couple of things. First, I want to say to all of you, I am thrilled to be with you today at this great gathering, which I know has been a long time in coming. And let's have a thank you to Steve Bloom. Now, I want to do two things here. First, celebrate the just, equitable legalization of marijuana we have accomplished together yes. in New York. Yes. And second, tell you about the fight that I am leading to legalize marijuana nationally in all 50 states. Now, we're all here. We're all here because we know that we must move past the failed model of the war on drugs. True. For decades, decades, this has been horrible. Young men and young women, disproportionately young men and women of color, have been arrested and jailed for even carrying small amounts of marijuana, a charge that came with exorbitant punitive penalties, a serious criminal record, and so many of them could never recover from true, that. True, true, amen. We can never let that happen again. These were young men and young women with dreams of their own, with promise, with potential, who had their lives ruined, ruined, simply because they happened to have a joint in their pocket. This over-criminalization of marijuana hurt individuals, but it hurt entire communities. Change has been urgently needed for so long. And that is why when you all ask me to stand with you, the organizers like Senator Ramos and Senator Biaggi and many others, and Tish James, yes. Am I leaving any legislators? Oh, many. And Harvey Epstein. And Not Carolyn Maloney. I'm good. Okay. And all of them are joined with you and told the state, get off your butt and pass MRTA now. And guess what? We did. Yeah. I pushed for the MRTA because I knew that legalizing marijuana itself is not enough. Amen. We need investment in communities harmed by the war on drugs. We need social equity in licensing entrepreneurs. And we need the expungement of records once and for all. Amen. Amen. We need it to start repairing the harms the war on drugs has done to New Yorkers. And with a huge coalition, we did just that. Amen. We raised our voices. We made it possible for the MRTA to become law. So I want to say it was an honor, honor, to work with some of, you, some of my friends who I've known for years in the legislature. Someone who helped me get elected to the Senate when she was just a council member in Buffalo, and now the majority leader, Crystal People Stokes. <laughs> And Liz Kruger from, I guess, this district. <laughs> well, she's and home. And Diane Savino. Yeah. From the great borough of Staten Power Island. to the women. And organizers like Cassandra Frederic. Is she here? We love her. Are you here, Cassandra? Cassandra she Frederic. is a dynamo. She is incredible. <laughs> and, of course, um, here in New York, Melissa Moore. Yeah. Charge. Yeah. Is she here? No. They're great. And of course, vocal New York, who relentlessly, hi vocal, <laughs> who relentlessly worked. When things got tough, what did they do? Did they give up? No. No. They got dirty. Did they throw up their hands and say, we're not going to get this done? No. They doubled down put their heads down, made sacrifices in their personal lives, missed time with friends and families, spent hours and hours and hours in frustrating meetings, 
and got it done. Those at the state level who led the charge here, many of whom are out here, you inspire me. And so let me just say, I am so happy we got this over the finish line. So Amen. 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 Legalization in New York was the most ambitious in the country. In the critical areas of racial and economic justice, it sets new standards and makes real tangible impacts on the lives of millions. So let's take a moment and celebrate Amen. what we have already accomplished. Yeah. All across the state, from Buffalo to Brooklyn, communities dead is devastated by the war on drugs are beginning to be renewed, repaired, and made whole again. Young people are able to celebrate today without a fear that a little bit of marijuana in their pocket could ruin their lives. True. Right. Less more freedom, less fear. Amen. Right. right now, somewhere in this city, hopeful entrepreneurs are gathering together, thinking up a future marijuana business that will provide jobs for New Yorkers yes. and tax dollars to harm community. One yeah. percent. And for thousands of, of, of New Yorkers with marijuana arrests on their records, the steps we have taken will provide a new lease on life. So I want to hear a big, long New York round of applause for every single organizer. <laughs> We're not done yet. Now, we're going to transfer that energy to Washington. Yay, yeah, man. Yeah, federal one. Pass him the blood, Chuck. And I want to tell you, today we're working to bring the focus of well, racial and economic justice to the MRTA to the federal level. Yeah. I, as, I was the first congressional leader of any party to come out in support of ending the federal prohibition on marijuana. Yeah. Wow. And I am proud of that. Got a good turn and right now, with my colleagues in Congress, we're working to bring the focus of racial and economic justice to the federal level. I, as I was the first congressional leader of any party to come out in support of ending the federal prohibition on marijuana. And I am proud of that. And right now, with my colleagues, Senator Booker and Senator Wyden, we're going to put forward advanced comprehensive cannabis reform legislation that will not only turn the page on this sad chapter in American history, but undo the devastating consequences of these of these discriminatory and often bigoted policies. True. Yeah. We got support across the country. Did you hear about South Dakota? Yeah, shocker, right? Hardly a liberal bastion. <laughs> They voted to legalize yeah. in November. <laughs> so this is happening across the country. Oh, we're on schedule. Holy shit. We're going to get bipartisan support for our Where's legislation. We yeah. And we got to do it the right way. The right way. We have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to invest in communities of color. Everything else is pretty right on. Wide opportunity for folks who have been hit hard by the prohibition. All of the old arguments and fear-mongering that crime would go up, that, that there would be a parade of horrible things hasn't happened. Justice Brandeis called the states the laboratory of democracy. And on marijuana, they have served just that role. Right on. We have taken the legalization to the laboratories of democracy. We did the experiments and the results are in. What we have accomplished in New York is just the beginning. Amen. I will fight with you until we get fair, just, and full legalization. Yeah, federal! Thank you, folks. Now, get it lit up.